What is the funniest line in Team America? I've got 19 of the most iconic and funny quotes here. We're going to do a this or that format where the winner stays on. All right, so number one. And if you betray us, I'll rip your fucking balls off and stuff them up your ass so that the next time you shit, you'll shit all over your balls. Got it? Excellent delivery, as always. Impeccable. <laughs> number one. And number three, Matt Damon. Okay, definitely number one. Yeah. Cool. Definitely. Now, Matt Damon's funny, but I, I know Matt Damon a little better than the first time I watched this film, and I sort of really get that whole... Do you, should I tell you what the reason for that Go is? Go on. So, originally, the only character from the Film Actors Guild... <laughs> that they were going to make kind of smart and eloquent was Matt Damon. Okay. But then they got the marionette for him out the oven or wherever they, they come out of the box. And they were like, oh, he looks uh, <laughs> he looks mentally <laughs> right. not quite all there. And so then they just cut all their dialogue and just like, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. That's that sort of joke that you do where it's like, only they're ever going to well, get that. Because they, they kind of knew Matt Damon and he knows them and like, He's been quite effusive towards them before and said like, oh, I think they're geniuses. And then apparently when it came out, he was like, yeah, I don't really understand why they've been so mean to me. But, you know, I guess you got to just take on the chin. Oh, and then he found out later respect. that he found out later that it's just because uh, they thought it was a fucking stupid joke. <laughs> what is number 15? It's <laughs> yes, quite a good one. Let me explain to you the kind of man Gary is. He's a man who knows that when you put another man's cock in your mouth, you make a pact, a bond that cannot be broken. He's a man so dedicated that he'll get down on his knees and put that cock right in his mouth. <laughs> okay, I have to emphasize, 10 out of 10 for delivery. <laughs> and also, absolutely, yes, that wins. I think what will be quite difficult is if we stay up with, with those ones, you get a few that are <laughs> along a similar chain from Spotswood. Yeah. I tried to only do one from, like, because he makes the same joke a few times. Oh, okay. But some of them are so funny that I just repeated it. Fair enough. Okay, so we'll remove that one. And then we are now spinning. And now we're going to number seven, which is... <laughs> what is a class? Yeah. Okay, a limousine that can fly. Now I have seen everything. Really? Have you seen a man eat his own head? No. So then you haven't seen everything. <laughs> <laughs> I... Oh, that's now getting tough. <laughs> you, I, I think Spotswood really is the best part of He's this got film. the best lines, yeah. Um, I think that I'm going to go... I think it's God. I feel like Cock in Mouth just takes Packed the cock, Okay, Cock so, packed. That's a f <laughs> okay, so that's the first what one. What do you think? Is that... Uh, it could go either way for me. I think, yeah. I think the thing with the cock packed one is he makes the joke a few times. So yeah. it really depends which one's your favourite. This one in particular, he delivers to all the United Nations <laughs> yeah. leaders in like the whole world. I, I think there's another one which I forgot about when I was doing these quotes that I actually prefer, which which I think I did add. So let's have a look. All right, number 12 we have next. So which one is that? <laughs> Remember, there is no I in Team America. <laughs> um, oh, I think it's still going to be cock sure. packed. I think that one can't. That one, no, no way that one could uh, could usurp cock. Although packs. again, it is good. It is good. I think what almost ruins that though is that, and I, I even cut it out here, is that intelligence goes after. Yeah, there is. Which is I kinda, agree. I don't need to say that. I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, 16. What do we have here? <laughs> All right. With with my apologies. It will be 911 times 2356. Two <laughs> my god, that's I don't even know what that is. Nobody no. does. <laughs> it does. Uh I think that I think that's the best that. line. That could that be the line. best. That could be the one. It for took me. me a few. I, I searched a few different places to find different quotes, and it took me a few times to find that one. I was really? like, "Oh shit, yeah, I love that." Because I prepared these before watching the film, so I had to remember. Which it's one. even got the setup of like <laughs> equally fun. Like, and the joke had almost got a bit tired at that point until that one, which yeah, it worked in its favor. Um, right. So we have number eleven. It's going to be. Which is, you have balls. I like balls. Good. Not, not 9 11 times 2000. Not 9 11. Whatever. All right. The next one we have is number five, which is, promise me you'll never die. You know, I can't make a promise like that. 
If you did that, I would make love to you right now. I promise oh. I will never die. No, no. Oh, that's so hard. Really? You're a big fan of that quote? I, that, I t- that's the only line that fe- Fez laughed at. Really? In the whole so that, that might ch- influence your opinion, I suppose. Maybe it's for a more. Oh, no, opinion. I've always thought that really? was very funny. Yeah. Oh, I, I think that the Kim Jong. Is it ill or I can't remember it's which one. Ill, yeah. Ill. I think the 911 times 2003, that just takes it for me. Yeah, but that okay. is a, such a good line in that. Okay, I'm interested. I, I promise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, where are we at now? We have number nine, it's going to be. Which is. <laughs> two. Okay, this the only the only song quote I had in there because I like it so much. I miss you more than Michael Bay missed the mark <laughs> when he made Pearl Harbor. Very nice. You know what? We've been looking for a podcast intro tune. <laughs> and that could, be it. that could be <laughs> it. That could be. No, no, no. You sing. I miss you more than Michael Bay missed the mark <laughs> when he Fucking made Pearl Harbor. More than Michael Bay missed the mark <laughs> when he made Pearl Harbor. When he made Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Well, I'm a suck. Just a little bit more than I missed you. <laughs> I love, the thing I love about that film is, like, obviously he shits on Pearl Harbor at the end and says how much he equivocates it to missing her. And then right at the end he just goes, Pearl Harbor sucked. Just a little bit more than I missed you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Kim Jong still keeps the uh, keeps the winning. Yeah, fair enough. I think, that, I, I think partly that joke missed because I haven't seen... Pearl Harbor. Yeah. For those who follow this channel, you'll realize I haven't watched that many It's just made me never want to watch that film, but maybe we should. I, it actually made me want to watch you it. Know, that would have been a pretty good 4th of July film to do, oh, actually. We could, I could we'll maybe do it next do a, year. I could do a should you watch for us. <laughs> nice. All right, number 10. Back, Dirk, Dirk, Allah. Doka, Doka, Mohammed Jihad. Hacker, Sherpa, Sherpa. A back, Allah. Ah, Doka, Doka. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Durka Durka. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I tell you what I'm realizing is there's a lot of S tier. Sorry, that, what I'm realizing is there's a lot of S tier quotes. That's why I tried to mix it up. When we did the super bad one, I felt like this is a bit more engaging than us just trying to compare really good quotes, which all could have done well. And the same with this. Like, there's yeah, so I many S tier. I like it. I like it. Um, Oh, yeah. I think I think Kim Jong could potentially have had the best line in the whole movie there because I think that wins again for me. Really? But I think I would go with um, this one. Ah, first. Durka Durka. <laughs> I think it's just both both the fact that Gary does it in no accent whatsoever, just really stoically goes like, hacker, sherpa, sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, I always found that line. I fun. know, but just the delivery of nobody okay. does. All right, well, let's, let's keep it. We've we got to stay true. All right, number four, that's going to be, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so this was just an homage to the whole thing, but... See, there's three kinds of people, Chuck. Dicks, pussies, and assholes. Okay, yeah, I get you. Um, yeah, I, I think the Kim Jong definitely takes it, but I think that there is... If we're homaging the whole thing, Cause I really liked the scene where he upstaged Alec Baldwin with yeah. it. Like he, uh, may, I don't know. If this isn't. This is the funniest quotes, and I don't know if that was necessarily the funniest. But when he no. upstages him with that, it is great. That's more in terms of the whole importance to the film. Obviously, that sentiment and that idea comes back once, and yeah, it's very funny. But I think with that specifically, maybe the funniest line in it, or one that I used to find really funny when I was a kid watching it, was. When he, the, the drunk guy at first goes like, we'll get our dicks and our pussies all covered in shit. And yes. then Gary just pukes. Yeah, <laughs> I remember the first time seeing that, like pissing myself. <laughs> all right, we're looking at number 18. How's this one going to fare? Now, hold on, team. Gary has already proven to me that he is 100% committed to the team. He proved it last night by sucking my cock. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that like include, including in the silence following it, 
I think that beats the Kim Jong one. Yeah. That silence where everybody just is like, <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think with that one as well, that's actually my favorite variation of the him saying about something. Yeah. Like, I prefer that to when he does it in front of everyone. I think, you've, uh, I, think <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Because as well, even after the silence, somebody adds something quite funny where they're like, good enough for me or something <laughs> like that. Like the whole sequence is just brilliant. All right, quality. So, so we got, got a new one. We got a new. We got a new winner. A new winner. It, I mean, it would make sense if a Spotswood one does win it. I agree. All right, number six. What have we got for six? <laughs> Jesus, this is a nice limo. Yes, it is. Now suck my <laughs> cock. <laughs> That's almost perfect that they came one after another. Um, I'm gonna go with the other one, the one that has already. What well, am I going to call it? Because it's probably going to stick around a while. Um, right. Which one? Uh, Gary's proved himself. Yeah. A hundred percent commitment. hundred percent. hundred percent. hundred percent. hundred percent. All right. Cool. So next one. Remove. <laughs> Gary, you didn't kill your brother. Those gorillas did. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quote. <laughs> I, Chug I it always the found it really funny. Chug it in the bin. <laughs> it's the most fucking ridiculous quote. It's not like, <laughs> Just, it's like the stupidest thing. Why is she saying that? She says it twice as well. It <laughs> is funny. It's it done, is it's funny. Done. It is good, but there's no way it competes with 100% yeah, commitment. Fair enough. Cairo, that's in Egypt. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you what, I didn't notice that line to be a particularly funny line when i used to watch it it was only when i watched it the other day one of those sneaker ones where you. the like classics weren't hitting as hard of course and then i heard that line and i was like that's brilliant <laughs> yeah. that's so good how did i miss that last time yeah well it's no it's no 100 percent commitment though that's i mean yeah. <laughs> all right let's have a look we're gonna go for number eight last year i went to iraq before Team America showed up, it was a happy place. They had flowery meadows and rainbow skies and rivers made of chocolate where the children danced <laughs> and laughed and played with gumdrop smiles. Bit it. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story about that. Have you heard about the... Uh, so they obviously took the piss out of loads of different people. Not for any of their political stances, but for basically being, you know, having really opinions, even though they have no um, authority actual, on, no authority on it. And uh, Sean Penn did apparently go to Iraq. And what am I saying? Like that? Iraq. And he supposedly got film crews to follow him around and make sure he was f filmed doing that. Um, <laughs> and apparently the only one, the only celebrity that had a really massive complaint from was Sean Penn. And he sent a letter to them before the film was released in the knowledge that he was going to be in this film saying like, I've been to Iraq and actually it is full of people with gumdrop smiles and stuff like that. Apparently he sent a letter and they were like, it was just fucking hilarious because he said exactly the same things that we'd take the piss out of him for. He In said... This, he basically goes through... Knowingly. He, I don't think he realised what he knew he was going to get taken the piss out of. But he didn't... He he hadn't read the, hadn't the line the that they had no. written. and But he basically was exactly the same as the stuff they had in like, That's hilarious that he's that's done that. Because that's exactly what we took the piss out of him for. And he's obviously not seen it yet. And he probably won't even watch How do it. they not get in more tr like, legal suing oh, trouble? Got in loads that. of trouble. The, the, um, when they did the uh, Scientology episode, they actually changed all of the names of the staff apart from theirs in the credits because then they were like, if you want, you can sue us. And at the end of it, like Stan, basically all the people from Scientology threatened to sue Stan. And Stan just goes, why don't you fucking sue me then? Sue me. Go on then. And they're like, we're going to sue you, buddy. It's like, yeah, fucking sue me. And they were, that literally is That's what they end so on, just to take nice. the piss, be like, if you want to come after us, fucking sue us. And then the only, then it says, created by Trey Parker and Matt Stone, and then everyone else is John Smith, Jane Smith, John Smith. Is <laughs> the it? Yeah, they're like, so that they can protect the Absolutely the heroes. Oh, Absolutely legends. heroes. That's brilliant. All right, what are we on now? Three left. Three more to go. Everyone panicked and cried out for somebody to help, but it was too late. The gorillas beat him to death before the zookeepers could guess them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A good one. You know, B or A. Not an S tier. Not quite, unfortunately. Probably Ga maybe Gary's best line, or certainly up there. Oh. Because he doesn't have... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A bit more of a straight man, sort of. For sure. Right. Shit, I've got five terrorists going east on Bakalaka Street. <laughs> yes. A, maybe even S. 
not quite taking the cake for me. <laughs> that was. I remember finding that one after a few different places that I'd look for quotes and be like, ah, oh, I missed that one. That's that was that was what I saw again in the film the other day, which I don't think I fully appreciated yeah. the first times. <laughs> I spanned the wheel, even though there's only one left on it. Nice. Uh, number two. Let's see what that is. The terrorist is getting away with the WMD. I got him. Joe fires a rocket launcher into the Eiffel Tower, which topples over and destroys the Arc de Triomphe. Damn, I missed him. <laughs> yeah, it continues with that as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Where they like go into the Louvre and <laughs> another great one. Maybe a B for me, yeah. maybe a CB. Um, so yeah, I guess that, that leaves us with our winner. With our winner, with the, actually the 18th one written down, so it almost didn't make the cut. Now, hold on, team. Gary has already proven to me that he is 100% committed to the team. He proved it last night by sucking my cock. <laughs> it's just the silence. <laughs> the silence that follows. Absolutely quality. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you on Wednesdays and Sundays. Thanks, guys.